Hi, and welcome to the inflammation video. Um, we have kind of finished up our t introductory uh, videos to pathology, discussing basic basic tenets and concepts, and now we're going to move to more specific uh, components of of pathology. Here in the next uh, couple of videos, we are going to discuss inflammation. This uh, video is going to be kind of an overview of inflammation, and then we'll discuss acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. So that kind of leads us into acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. So there's two types of inflammation, or two categories, if you will, and these can overlap. But in basic, in in general, there's acute inf uh, inflammation and chronic inflammation. So what is in general inflammation. Well, let's say here you have, let me review, do this. Let's say you have a blood vessel here. And you have outside, you have some, you have some cells. These are some cells. And here's the nuclei in these cells. And you have macrophages or phagocyte cells, garbageman cells, if you will, that will help clean up areas and and destroy bacteria. And you know, if some cells die or you know if they undergo apoptosis, the apoptotic bodies will kind of butt off. Will butt off, and then these and then these uh, phagocytes will go ahead and engulf these and eat them up. Um, but, you know, if these, if the damage, you know, let's say the skin layer is right here, and let's say you're working out in the yard or doing some landscaping or doing some gardening, and you get a sliver. And a sliver, and the sliver right here kind of punctures your, your skin, if you will. This is a sliver a splinter. Well, then there's bacteria on this splinter. There's, you know, not only did it destroy some of these cells, um, but this might cause an infection. And so these um, phagocytes are going to kind of come in here. You know, these green cells, they're going to kind of come in here and they're going to try to, you know, eat up these bacteria and kind of destroy the splinter, if you will. Uh, and just and eat up all these the cells that are damaged, you know, and if these phagocytes that are already existing inside and adjacent to these cells, it's not enough. Well, they're going to secrete little little chemicals that are going to start a cascade of inflammation, and inflammation is a whole cascade of you know, proteins and cells and all kinds of of um, substances exiting the artery or the the venules, um, exit exiting like the little arterioles, um, and and coming in and trying trying to help help this battle against this splinter that you that you got in your hand. And this splinter is just an example. It could be, you know. Uh, other types of infections, other types of pathogens, um, any kind of foreign invader is will start this inflammation process. Even necrosis, where cells kind of will die out, they'll also start inflammation. So inflammation is just the process by which um, your body starts to clean up an area where it's um, damaged or some some kind of invader has gotten in there. Another important aspect of inflammation is that it initiates um, tissue repair, scarring, and, and you know all these cells have to be reconstructed. And so the process of inflammation is not only destroying or um, neutralizing the toxin but is also to initiate repair. And, you know, in this inflammation response is also, um, you know, your body can have um, 
autoimmune diseases, which is, means that your body attacks itself. Or in some cases of food allergies, your body thinks that uh, you know something that you ingest is bad for you and starts attacking it. And those are some of the ways in which this inflammation response can become, um, you know, not not a good situation for the host or for you. There's five ways, or five things, or five uh, signs, if you will, five cardinal signs that explain um, when an inflammation process is occurring. And these are. So these are the five cardinal signs of inflammation. So if you, if your body has heat, redness, swelling, pain, or loss of function, it's usually undergoing or, or a sign that inflammation is occurring, that your body is fighting something. And these are kind of a Latin roots of these as calor, rubor, tumor, dolor, and functionalasia. So these ones are, you know, kind of just fun words to memorize, but but really to kind of grasp is is, is if you see or, or feel if it's yourself or if you're a clinician and you the you know the patient is complaining of heat, redness, swelling, pain, loss of function, you might think in your mind, yep, this patient's undergoing some kind of infl inflammatory response and that can kind of help you diagnose what's going on. So the five cardinal signs are these and then there's another set of five that that's good to memorize is the five ways um, or the five steps rather of inflammation. And these are so you got five ways or five steps of inflammation. And these are the five R's or the five steps. You can also say um, five R's to help you memorize memorize these. But more it's just kind of an intuition of kind of what happens. So in inflammation, the first thing is is the the body has got to recognize an injurious agent. It's got to recognize that something's going wrong. The second step is the recruitment of the leukocytes, which are white blood cells, and we're going to talk about each one of these steps and all, you know, all the intricate details of these. But then the third thing is removal of the agent. So you got to recognize that there's a problem. You got to recruit the the guys that are going to or gals that are going to help, you know, remove this agent, and then you have to regulate the response. If inflammation goes out of control, you know, inflammation does cause damage in and of itself because it's creating, um, you know, these cells are wreaking havoc and they're just going in there destroying everything, and you know, the blood vessels become more permeable, so stuff's leaking out into the tissues that needs to be that does not need to be there. So there, you have to clean up that mess. And then finally, you got the repair or the resolution. So these are the five R's or the five steps of inflammation. So we're going to talk about these steps in, in really, really good detail. We'll see you in the next video.